Hello and welcome to another video on this weird and wonderful AI channel. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing my setup and workflow on how I run FluxDev using RunPod. RunPod is a cloud-based GPU platform which lets you get access to higher-end GPUs at the fraction of cost. As you can see up on your screen that uh, the images are being generated and within a few seconds these images are popping up on the screen. Typically, I think what I found was using FluxDev and all the higher end clip values, I'm able to generate the images uh, within 30 to 40 seconds. Now, in RunPod, um, I am using this A40 uh, GPU, which has 48 GBs of VRAM. That is more than enough, and it only costs 35 cents per hour. So I think that is a very cost-effective way to explore the higher quality images that FluxDev can produce using such kind of GPU in a cloud-based environment. And typically what I do is I use one of these GPUs and I run up a comfy UI image. I'll put the link to the image that I'm using in the description below. So the image I'm using has built-in applications. Um, it comes with comfy UI, an application manager, a Jupyter Lab and a file uploader. All these are having their specific ports. When you launch the pod, you can basically go and open these applications up through the URLs provided. Through the links that you have, you to manage the application like Comfy UI. It provides a Jupyter Lab uh, environment so you can upload and download files. I've also created a notebook which has all the links and details to download the models. It's ready to go. All you have to do is run it and it will download all the necessary models within a few minutes and then you'll be up and running using FluxDev on your RunPod environment. Um, as you can see here, here's some previous timestamps on how long did it take to create an image and it's literally seconds, under 30 seconds for most standard size images. Now in my workflow, I have added the uh, Realism LoRa as well, as you can see here. And I've got some standard SDXL dimensions or custom dimensions you can use. I'm also upscaling the latent just to make sure that I have the same ratio but a higher resolution image. So you can enable that if you want by bypassing or unbypassing it. So in this workflow, it will double the dimensions of that original incoming 3x2 image and it will produce a higher resolution image. Because we have access to the higher VRAM, why not use that higher latent space to create a higher resolution image? And you'll see here within a few seconds, it's able to produce that larger size image off the bat. We'll let this run. It shouldn't take very long, uh, probably about uh, 45 seconds. There we go, almost finished. And of course, I'm not speeding any of this up. So here we go. The image is coming up there. So that's the image that is produced at twice the latent size of those dimensions I've put in using that prompt above. And I've added the text flux on run pod. It did nicely add the flux word, but not the run pod, which is okay. Never mind. A text is a little bit trial and error, but it's still much better. So using the A40, I can easily access and create larger resolution images because I have access to that large VRAM for a fraction of uh, owning one. 35 cents is literally negligible per hour. And as you can see, I can generate a single image in 30 seconds or under. That gives you plenty of potential to explore and generate high quality images. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you found this workflow useful, go check it out, trial run pod. And if you use my affiliate link in the description below, it just lets run pod team let them know that uh, I referred you to it. And if you end up uh, adding some credits, they might give me a small commission that helps run this channel. Um, thanks for uh, watching. And if you've got any comments, leave them down in the description below. I'll see you in the next one.